All right, folks, welcome back. This is Papa Top 912, and today we're going to be doing a kind of a summertime red velvet cake. The reason I say it's a summertime cake is because I'm not going to do the uh, cream cheese icing because I just really don't want all that icing on this cake today. So I'm just going to make like a red velvet bundt cake and just drizzle it with that uh, lemon drizzle again just to have a little something on the outside just besides cake. Again, you can always take this recipe and just make the cream cheese icing and put it on there. But I didn't want that, so I wasn't going to make it for today. So my ingredients for today start over here. I got one teaspoon of vinegar, and that's uh, white wine vinegar. One teaspoon of baking soda. One ounce of red food coloring. One teaspoon of unsweetened cocoa powder. A half a teaspoon of salt, and that just happens to be kosher salt today. One quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And then a one half tablespoon of vanilla flavoring, and that's pure vanilla, not imitation vanilla. And then right here, this is a um, my buttermilk, and it's I didn't have buttermilk today, so I just made some homemade buttermilk, and I just used two teaspoons of the white wine vinegar with one cup of heavy cream, and I just put that in there, whipped it a little bit, and I let it sit for about 15 minutes, and that'll be my homemade buttermilk. And this right here is the uh, clarified butter. But again, this was 100% uh, homemade clarified butter. I took the uh, heavy cream and I blended it and separated the uh, butter fats from the buttermilk. And then I took and uh, rendered that down in a pot to dissolve, uh, to boil out the water and everything else and let some of the solid settle out. So that's 100% pure clarified butter from scratch. And then that's the uh, lemon drizzle that I'm going to use. That's these zest from one lemon, the juice from one lemon, and a half a cup of the confections, confectioner's powdered sugar. Got my two eggs, one and a half cups of sifted sugar, and two and a half cups of sifted flour. And then I got my butt pan over there that's been, uh, I rinsed it. I put it in the oven to temper it to make sure it was dried out and then I put the uh, oil and the flour in there so that's ready and when I get done with the cake I can just put that in there and put it in the oven. My oven is preheating right now at 375 so once I get this all put together I'll put it in the oven about 30 to 45 minutes after that we'll have a nice delicious red velvet cake. So we'll get started now. First thing we're going to do is take our butter. Put that in to the mixer. And then we'll take the sugar. And we'll pour the sugar in. And I really like the uh, smell and taste of. Uh, clarified butter and some people will use oil and some people will just use butter but I like clarified because then I have a butter tasting oily substance that just tastes so much better than either one of those other two ingredients combined so I'm just going to uh, cream this butter and sugar together for three to five minutes until it turns to one homogeneous mix and then We'll start adding some more of the other ingredients. And I'll just keep you abreast of what we add when we add it. So until this gets creamed, I will just let it do it now. Be right back with you. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're back again. As you can see, the uh, butter and the sugar has kind of mixed together really nicely. So at this point, I'm going to take my two eggs and I'm going to pour those into the mix. Let the 
things get mixed in a little bit. Alright. Now that those have been uh, mixed in, I'm going to add in the uh, buttermilk. Alright, so you can see the uh, eggs and the uh, cream have mixed in real good with the sugar and the butter. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the red food color in there. And I'm also going to go ahead and add in the vanilla flavor. Now I'm going to shake in my salt. Shake in my bacon powder. Again, my cocoa powder. Now the cocoa adds that velvety touch to the cake, but it also darkens the mix. So, if you want a really bright red cocoa, I mean, bright red cake, you can cut back on that cocoa. So now that we have all those ingredients mixed in pretty good, we're going to start adding in the flour. I'm just going to add it in a little bit at a time. And I'll just keep working that in, just like that, until I get all that flour mixed in. So once I get it all mixed in, I'll let you see what everything looks like before we put it in the pan. Okay. So you can see now I have all the ingredients mixed together except for the uh, last two I didn't put in there yet, but I just want you to see the consistency of that cake batter. It's all blended in now. I um, went down the edges so I know everything is uh, blended in nicely. So I'm going to turn the mixer off, let those start to drain, and while those beads are draining off, we're going to take our vinegar and our bacon soda. You see it fizzing up in there like that? I'm just going to 
take that mix and just pour it right in. Just pour that right into the cake better and just fold that in. Just gonna fold that in to the mix. And there you have it. That's a, a quick and easy red velvet cake recipe that you can try for yourself. Uh, once it comes out the oven, we'll uh, let you see what it looks like. 